to launch another one. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train as usual. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And per usual, for... I got something new to say. But before we do that, please hit that like and subscribe button. Please don't forget to comment. Most importantly, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Try to get the ratings up a little bit. Just a little bit. But today we're going to talk about Jabari Smith. This boy is a top five? Top top three? Maybe he can be the number one pick in this year's draft. Like, Maybe. So let's take a let's take a quick little gander at the uh, highlights of Jabari Smith and see just you know what what he talking about. You know I I got my Duke jersey on just cause you know what I'm saying I just want to remind y'all we we still out here we live we we in charge. Auburn had a really good squad I gotta say, but Jabari Smith six ten six eleven and I gotta say he easily has the best jump shot out of the top five for me um got a little boogie woogie to his game got enough athleticism with the length i'm thinking a jaron jackson jr with a better offensive package like just not as good on the defensive end but has similar defensive potential it's it's, it's uh, you see what i'm saying like you see what i'm saying like it's it, I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Sometimes it reminds me of KD. <laughs> like and sometimes he reminds me of KD. It, it's 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 kind of insane. It's kind of insane. Oop. I mean that's not really impressive, but at the same time it's impressive. I can't do it. <laughs> Look at the high release point. Look at the high release point, bro. Again, that's tough. Like, how do you stop that? How do you stop him? When he's on, he's on. Like, he spaces the floor so well. And it, again, you saw him get the ball on his own. Then he's on the block right here. Just casual. The only thing he needs to do is get a little bit more aggressive. Again, you see the jump shot. You see the high release point. You see how I say, you know, sometimes he reminds me of KD. Sometimes I feel like he settles too much. He understands. He knows, hey, I, I can get my shot off whenever I really want to. You see what I'm saying? But you got a lot of length, too. Like, when I think of this, I think of Jason Tatum. Sometimes Jason Tatum settles for jump shots too much when he needs to attack. When Jason Tatum attacks, well, oh, it's a much different game. So now, if he attacks, good things happen. I say the same thing for Paolo Bencaro as well. If they both attack, they're both a problem. But, and again, they're young players. Settles a little bit. But when you shoot like this, I can't be too mad at you but so much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, the next step is for him to become aggressive and to become a little bit more consistent on the defensive end i think he had good help you see number 13 right there walker kessler that's a seven footer he helped out on the defensive end so jabari was able to play a little help side again i say he's a good defender i don't think he's as good of a defender as jaron jackson is but he has that potential and he's got to show that for me on a consistent basis but he's more of an offensive effort now the playmaking that's gonna make him elite if he gets playmaking involved, oh, that's going to make him elite. Because, again, he's 6'10", 6'11". Shooting like this, that IQ there, oh, that's tough. That's going to be wild, people. That's going to be insane. Again, this shot, this release point, the man's phenomenal. Beautiful. That's just draws. Tom Brady retires. <laughs> Cash. Can't leave that man open. He was butt naked open too. Nah, he won't butt naked him. He was just open. Just shoots over the top. He loves them long twos, by the way. That's that mellow. That's that mellow shit right there. No, I understand Kobe and Jordan did it too. Don't get me wrong, but like, 
felt like Melo did that jump a little bit more. He was notorious for doing that. But this boy, Cash. And again, the high release point is what helps. Like, it's, why would you even leave him? That's not even your zone, bro. That's just piss poor defense. You leave a. Mm. And if you peep the time on the clock, like, that was wild. That was insane. Again, clutch player, good bucket, and a chance for this year's top pick. Worst case, top five. But maybe you all disagree. You know, you got Chet, you got Paolo. I want to hear from y'all, though. Please like, subscribe. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Shram, the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody, and most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below, but I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick, excuse me. Hey boss, I'm back, nah, you better catch this word, you know we get buckets out here,